screws it up, cross courts it to Jackson. He wanted to Keep them away from the offensive glass. They'll be in a lot better shape. Good follow by Grant. Oh, what a follow. Ball missed on the shot. Grant was right there. And now the Commodores cut it back to seven points. I have to believe Coach Dale Brown's very happy with the way his club is performing right now on that defensive glass. Sims dishes inside and O'Neal and he's fouled so far. And Ron, we've talked to about two basketball players. One is the outside play of Chris Jackson. Watch this move down inside. Look at that. Kept himself under control, got the ball back in his other hand, and just laid it up off the glass. He Stack offense by LSU. Reed is back in. Mays is back in, as well as Millhollow, as they continue to hate having knocked off the Oklahoma Sooners. Could we have one brewing right here in Tigerland? Good trap right there. And again, LSU's got both of their big guys sitting over there on the pines. Maybe up to Jackson to do some yeah, scoring. going to have to take it into his own. Sitting over there with mouth problems of his own. Watch Jackson on the move right here. Shoots a little bit short. Now watch Hall. Jackson goes down. Now look at this. You know, I think he was trying to avoid the collision. I'm not sure that was, wasn't just a no call. Unless he tripped him. He could have tripped him. That's possible when he had the basketball. Field goal attempts for Jackson tonight. Three of nine. He's 0 for three from uh, three-point range. And a game clock and a shot clock. Yeah, you're right. I thought it was off. It's not. They'll have it back. Bandy will get it one more time. Better hurry here. Inside of two. Jackson. Oh, my goodness. He wouldn't mind going in, trailing by only four at halftime after having been down by 13. Trying to free Jackson. Finally touches it. He is alone. What a shot. Shot clock. Now here's Jackson trying to catch up with the ball. I don't know why the Vanderbilt player didn't pick it up. It looked like Reed had a chance to get it. Jackson in the corner. Look at this. Bang. Nothing but bottom. And only two seconds off the clock after he caught it. Watch it down underneath. He knows he's just got a few seconds left. He just stops and goes straight up with it. Look at that follow through. Boy, is that pretty. Absolutely Gorgeous. incredible. Ball left open for three. On the floor inside, Sims comes up with it. Here come the Tigers. Bandy back on defense. Jackson pulls up from eight. Gets the good home soft round. 63 to 40. Reed misses on that one, and it's a 20-point ball game with 13-25 left. Oh, Jackson with the quick move, the feed off inside, and he can't get it to go. Did you see that move by Jackson? Crossover dribble, went right side, left side, back to the right, down the middle, made the pass. Let's watch it again. This is terrific. Great basketball on the part of the guard. Watch this. Now look. Over, behind, between the legs, back again. Right between two defenders, kick it in the corner. Oh, that's great ball. Great basketball very quickly and get in position to get a layup. Jackson, three-point attempt. Right down. Four headaches, but with almost 11 minutes left in the ball game, and he's down by 20, and LSU goes one and one. Now, the leaders in the Southeastern Conference, Jackson at 92%. Then Grant Wilcox and Anglin, all teammates, of course, as Vanderbilt... Now the Commodores put on some full court pressure. Boudreaux breaks open down the floor. He's got it for the easy two. Good assist from her over there. To have to come into Baton Rouge and play a team like this. And with what uh, is a relatively young Vanderbilt basketball team. Eddie Vogler is going to go away from here, it looks like, with another thumping. So we're going to have to get this kids back together again and make the decisions about what, guys? You know, we got a long season. You can't let two games destroy your season. You've got to get it back together and play. Thank you.